It's Legendary Beats. Greetings, my fellow brothers and sisters globally. As you all know, this is your most favorite apostle, Obi Obi of the Universal African Church of God. And today, I was just reminiscing and thinking about uh, uh, what Timothy said on uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 to 11, talking about greed. And that's something that my mind has been, uh, has been uh, working on uh, for the past few hours. And I said, you know, I will have to come on air and make a little video to share with you all my thoughts about the book of Timothy 6, verse 10 to 11. And uh, I will read the verse. That way you all can understand exactly what I'm talking about. So you all can open your Bibles and go to the book of Timothy 6, uh, 10 to 11. It says, For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. But you, Timothy, a man of God, so runs from all these evil things. Pursue righteousness and good life along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Then now, it goes back to the part of death as well. In the book of Proverbs 22, verse 7. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is the servant of the servant to the lender. Then furthermore, on Romans 13, verse 8, it says, Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another. If love, if you are love for your neighbor, if you love your neighbor, you will fulfill the requirements of God's law. What exactly is this saying there? We all know, like what I've been preaching to you all, that the Universal African Church of God will believe in our capacity as Africans universally to be able to leverage our human and natural resources and don't borrow and don't beg just as what most of our leaders today in Africa and the different countries that our people occupy in the Caribbeans, we are hell-bent on borrowing money from sources that will pierce more sorrow in our people across the continent and also in the African satellite states in the Caribbean islands. We all know this, from Jamaica to Trinidad to Antigua to Barbados, all of them are borrowing huge sums of money from sources that will pierce sorrow in our people. That's exactly what he's saying in the book of Timothy that I just read. So, the Universal African Church of God, we believe in coming together to marshal our human and natural resources in order for us to work as a unit to help ourselves and make things work for us as a people. That is why I'm calling on all of you, and especially those of you, who want to become associate apostles of the universal african church of god to inbox me directly or contact the church whatsapp noble which is listed on our whatsapp church page universal african church of god or our facebook page is listed universal african church of god you can go on there and send us a private message if you are interested to become an associate apostles. The time for miracles is over. And the time when uh, apostles will tell you you should close your eyes and pray three times, money will happen in your account, is over. We as Africans, we must rise up and understand that God has already blessed us. Gave us the most I mean, resource, natural resource rich continent in the planet gave us almost 1.4 billion of us life so we must we must make sure we claim this destiny that god has already bestowed upon us there is no need for us to be crying that we are poor we are not poor the african continent is not poor we are full of faith we are full of obedience to god almighty god in our african image we are full of faith obedience now we just need to 
turn this faith and obedience into the destiny that we are all tied together that God has already favored us with the natural resources and the human resources in abundance. That is why the Universal African Church of God will not only be teaching you how to spiritually uplift yourself, but also how to economically become independent from borrowing money and become a servant to the lender. The days where we are servants to the lender is over. That's basically what uh, Timothy is saying there in the book of Timothy. The days, I declare the days we people of the African race in this planet should remain servants to the lender. It's over. So I want each one of you watching this video now to say this before me. The days I will remain a servant to the lender it's over because God has already bestowed upon me the favor and my destiny has been granted. My destiny of abundance has been granted by God in our African image. My destiny for good health has been granted by God in our African image. And I will repeat again. Those of you who are watching me, who might not understand what the Universal African Church of God, the core doctrine is the love and affinity of our people all over this world. And please don't mistake the love and affinity that we have for our people as a demonstration of hate for others because we are all part of the human race and given the fact that Africa is the bad place of humanity. We must show example in loving ourselves, walking amongst ourselves, and understanding that together we are stronger. My fellow brothers and sisters in, in God, Christ the Redeemer in our African image that operated in our geographical space in Egypt and Israel. We all know that we are the descendants of this Christ, the Redeemer, as Africans. So why are we still conceiving ourselves as servants to the lender? We can no more be servants to the lender. You can say it to yourself because God is listening to you. God in our African image is listening to you. I am no longer a servant to the lender. That is what God told Timothy, and that is what I, Apostle Obi Obi, I am not a servant to the lender. And you who is watching me, you will never be a servant to the lender. The Universal African Church of God, we will bring all our expertise to help us to build our capacity, economic capacity as independent humans in this planet that are willing to share the abundance in the credibility with other humans around the world. Instead of exploitation of our human and natural resources, we will control it and we will equitably share because we are the mother of humanity. The mother of humanity can never become a servant to the lender. That's all I came to say. I want you all to share this video with your friends and family. I am Apostle Obi Obi, and I'm inviting every single one of you who has aspirations to become an associate apostle all across the African continent and the Caribbean to contact the church because we are, we are, we are one. We are stronger when we come together. And the Universal African Church of God is going to the mountain top to become the most economically prosperous church community amongst the African people in this planet and we are gonna uplift our people and decolonize spirituality that has been used to subjugate us as servants to the lender thank you all my brothers and sisters and go in peace because your destiny has already been given to you and the favor from God in our African image. You have received it. 
you have to be obedient 